Hi guys, so I'm servicing this machine, which is pretty much done and it's about to go up on list. Um, it's a Singer 401A. I love this machine. It's not a belt driven machine. It's actually run on a gear. Um, so it's a very durable machine. It's all metal. It has wonderful built in stitches. It's, it's truly a brilliant design. Um, I, I would argue that one of Singer's best, but what I wanted to point out is people buy these machines unserviced. Um, first of all, the parts on these machines are very expensive. People who do, because nobody wants to part these machines, but people who do part these machines, they'll sell the tension assembly for $20, you know? They'll sell this knob for $15. So you're missing one little thing, it, it'll cost you to put it back together. Um, the, the, the foot pedal alone with the power cord together, um, the, the power cord alone is I think $15 plus shipping, but the foot pedal with the power cord is about $40 if you're gonna get the combo. So keep that in mind when you're buying um, these kind of machines, you know, that aren't fully complete, you may end up with a project that's gonna sit forever. But what I also want to point out is there's a reason for getting fully serviced machines. So I'm going through this, it's really clean. You can see it, it looks like no one's used it. Um, it's, and you get one of these and you're like, oh, wow, look, someone's never used this machine. It's probably brand new. It's great. And you're using it and you're happy. Um, but but if you haven't looked inside, um, you don't really know what's going on. So what we do is we take everything apart and we check the motor, which is super important. And um, I, I clean everything. I wash it. I let it dry just, you know, to get all the all the debris out. But your carbon brushes. So in order for to you to replace the carbon brushes on these machines, you have to actually take the whole motor out and disconnect um, the power supply. So on this one, despite the fact that it looks like it was never used, the carbon brushes are basically gone. So you're not gonna get a whole lot of life out of this. And once you start to hit to where you're, you're more than 50% through, the carbon brush is about this big. Um, so once you start to hit close to the edge, you're basically destroying, and if you're not gonna get it serviced and you don't know what you're doing, you're basically destroying this copper right here. And you're gonna create a groove in it, which then will be a full replacement of the motor. So something to consider when you're buying a machine that, you know, this isn't just, we're not just like dropping oil in it and going, hey, it's, it's serviced, it's ready. No, we, we look at everything. And those are really important components because, you know, buying a motor and replacing it, if you're not sure how to do it is not, the easiest thing in the world, or also not the cheapest. Um, so I just wanted to show you how we do things and just things to keep keep an eye out for. Um, so these will be fully replaced and they're gonna have a full lifespan. Um, so you know, if you thought that your machine wasn't used, check this out. Make sure that you are on the right track because I've seen machines that look like they're brand new and mint condition and people have even kept the tags on them, but they're fully worn down. So you just never know. Okay, um, this one's gonna be up listed actually very shortly as soon as we put it all back together and the brushes are replaced. And uh, that's gonna be on Romal and V Etsy shop. Thank you so much for watching.